This is the magnificent Chateau de Joet, just south of Liège, and the local Belgian chocolatiers are making some of the finest chocolates in the world. One of the best types of cooking chocolate is made in Belgium by Calabo. It's my first ever visit to a chocolaterie and it smells wonderful. I find it amazing to think that chocolate is made out of a bean that comes from a tree from a tropical forest. Calabo produces large five kilo blocks as well as chocolate drops called calette, which I love using in my desserts. Tasting freshly made chocolate is a wonderful, intense taste experience. Within the factory, the Calabo Chocolate Academy helps professionals from all around the world master the art of working with chocolate. Philippe Van Kessel is a great teacher and lectures on all aspects and techniques of using chocolate. Belgium abounds in excellent chocolate shops. Jean-Philippe Darcy, near Liège, is a great pâtissier and a very creative master chocolatier. Il y a toujours une évolution. Effectivement, on est toujours à la recherche de nouveaux goûts, les machines évoluent, les, les tendances évoluent. Donc en Europe, on cherche plus la dégustation, le produit fin et vraiment le plaisir de déguster un petit chocolat. I love the exciting new flavors. Poppy flower, lemon thyme and pralines with citrus. And the tasting confirms that Boss Philippe and Jean Philippe are masters and that Belgian chocolate deserves its reputation. Belgian cooks love using chocolate in desserts and the classic chocolate mousse is one of the most popular treats. I first pour two tablespoons of cream and drop 200 grams of dark chocolate in a bowl over a bath of hot water and stir until melted and very smooth. I like to make a chocolate mousse with dark chocolate of about 70% cocoa content. I remove the bowl from the heat and whisk in four egg yolks until very well combined and smooth. Then I beat six egg whites and a pinch of cream of tartare until almost stiff peaks form. I add two tablespoons of caster sugar and continue to whisk until quite firm. I combine about a quarter of the whites with the chocolate, then gently incorporate the remaining egg white. It is best not to overmix. I spoon the mousse in a piping bag without a nozzle and carefully pipe the chocolate treat into six glasses. They need to set in the refrigerator covered for a few hours. Just before serving, I decorate with whipped cream and garnish with fresh raspberries. This mousse au chocolat belge is irresistible. I am surprised how beautiful the local countryside is and tomorrow we meet one of the local farmers who makes one of the best cheese in Belgium.